Hello students, today in this session I am going to discuss about surface area and volume which is chapter 13 from class 9 textbook. Now before starting the chapter, let me give you some basic idea about how to convert different units like from millimeter to centimeter, centimeter to meter. These conversions are very much needed while doing this type of sums. In metric system, the smallest unit is millimeter and highest is kilometer. Now in some of the cases we have to convert from kilometer to meter or meter to kilometer. Out of this, this is the biggest unit and this is the smallest. Whenever we go from smallest towards biggest, then we have to divide. And if we move from bigger to smaller, we have to multiply. Now suppose what is the relation between kilometer and meter. Here it is kilometer, here it is meter. So 1 kilometer equals to 1, 2, 3 places. So it will be 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter. If we want to relate meter and centimeter, then we have to go 1 place, 2 place. Since two places we have to move from meter to centimeter, so one meter is 100 centimeter. If you want to convert from meter to kilometer, now if we move from meter to kilometer, then we are going from smaller unit to bigger unit. In that case, we have to divide. Now here, meter to decameter, then hectometer, then kilometer. How many places? One, two, three. So one meter is one by 1000 kilometer. In this way, we can convert one unit to other unit. In 13a, the sums are based on cube and cuboid. So first let me discuss the formula of cube and cuboid. As you can see, I am holding one small box. Here, this is length, this part is breadth and this part is height. These type of figures are called cuboid. When length, breadth and height, they are of unequal length. If you consider this part, this part is breadth, this part is height. So area of this face will be breadth into height. We know area of a rectangle is length into breadth. So for this part, this is breadth, this is height. So area of this part is B into H. For this part, it is length into height. So this is L into H. So for this part, it is B into H. Here it is L into H. And for the upper part, it is length into breadth. So it is L into B. Now here also L into B. The back side also L into B. Here it is B into H. Here also it will be B into H. Here it is length into height. Here also it will be length into height. So if we want to find the total surface area of this type of figure, then formula will be twice LB plus BH plus HL. As you can see in this figure, this is length, this is breadth, this is height. So area of this face will be L into H. This face, upper face will be L into B. And area of this face will be B into H. Now B into H twice, L into H twice, and L into B twice. So total surface area of this figure will be twice LB plus BH plus HL. When we consider the sides, top and base, these two are not considered, then we have to use lateral surface area. For this part, this is length, this is height. So this part area will be L into H. Here also, in the back side also it will be L into H. So here one L into H, here one L into H. Here it is B into H. Similarly, here also it will be B into H. So twice B into H and twice L into H. So lateral surface area will be twice L into H plus twice B into H. If I take two H common, it will be L plus B. If we want to place the longest rod in this box, then we have to consider the length of this point to this point, from this corner to the opposite corner. This length is called the diagonal of the cuboid. If you want to find the length of the diagonal, it will be root over L square plus B square plus H square. In this box, these are called faces, these are called edges, and these corners are called vertex or vertices. Now, if you want to find the length of the edges, here you can see length, 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 and in the corner length. So that means 4 times length, breadth, 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 and here also breadth. So 4 times breadth, height, 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 4 times height. Length of 12 edges will be 4 times L plus B plus H. 
and if you want to calculate the volume of the box it will be length into breadth into height now this is one rubik's cube here you can see length breadth and height all are equal this type of structures are called cube now in this figure length breadth height all we can consider a in that case area of each face will be a square a into a area of this face will be a square if you consider this one this is a this is a so area of this face will be a square area of this face also will be a into a a square so here for each face a square and altogether there are six faces so total surface area will be six a square if you want to calculate the lateral surface area then top and base will not be considered only the size we have to consider for each face area is a square so for four faces area will be 4 a square therefore lateral surface area will be 4 a square if you want to calculate the diagonal of a face diagonal means from this point up to this much from here up to this much this is called the diagonal of the face and diagonal of the face will be root over 2 i say the length of the diagonal of the cube then it will be root over 3 a and since there are 12 edges all are of equal length so length of 12 edges it will be 12 a units and volume of this figure will be a cube a into a into a so volume will be a cube based on this we can start the sums of 13 a now now first question of 13 a it is given that find the lateral surface area and total surface area of a cuboid of length 80 centimeter breadth 40 centimeter and height 20 centimeter so here length is given 80 centimeter breadth is given 40 centimeter and height is 20 centimeter now first of all we have to calculate the lateral surface area lateral surface area of a cuboid it is given twice h l plus b this formula already i have discussed so twice into h is 20 l is given 80 plus breadth is 40 2 into 20 it will give 40 and 80 plus 40 it will be 120 120 into 40 it will be 4800 centimeter square since it is area so unit will be centimeter square so lateral surface area of the cuboid is 4800 centimeter square again we have to calculate the total surface area of the cuboid and we know total surface area of the cuboid is twice lb plus bh plus hl here length is 80 breadth is 40 and height is 20 we know so twice length into breadth 18 to 40 plus breadth into height 14 to 20 plus height into length it will be 20 into 80 so twice 3200 800 1600 now 2 into 3200 plus 800 plus 1600 this three will give 5600 so it will be 2 into 5600 which will give 11200 centimeter square therefore lateral surface area of the cuboid is 4800 centimeter square and total surface area of the cuboid will be 11200 centimeter square and this is the answer in question number two it is given find the lateral surface area and total surface area of a cube of s 10 centimeter suppose this is one cube and it is given each s is 10 centimeter so this one is 10 centimeters here length breadth height all are equal so lateral surface area of a cube we know formula is 4 s square so it will be 4 into 10 square as each edge is 10 so instead of a we can write 10 4 into 100 10 square is 100 4 into 100 400 centimeter square again total surface area of a cube since there are six faces it will be 6 s square 6 into 10 square 10 square is 100 6 into 100 600 centimeter square so 400 centimeter square and 600 centimeter square are the lateral surface area and the total surface area of the cube in question number three it is given the lateral surface area of a cube is 64 meter square find the total surface area now suppose this is the cube and these edges are not known we can consider let it be a meter we can write here let each edge of a cube be a meter and in the question it is given that lateral surface area of the cube is 64 meter square and we know formula is 4 s square so 4 s square is 64 meter square so s square will be 64 by 4 if i cancel it will be 16 so s square is 16 so a will be root over 16 and root over 16 will be 4 therefore each edge of the cube is 4 meter 
Now we have to calculate the total surface area and total surface area of a cube is 6 a square. So it will be 6 into 4 square. 4 square is 16 and 6 into 16 is 96 meter square. Therefore total surface area of the cube is 96 meter square which is the required answer. Question number 4 it is given. If total surface area of a cube is 1014 centimeter square, find the lateral surface area and the main diagonal of the cube. Here also the edge of the cube is not given. So we can consider let each edge of the cube be a centimeter. We can draw one cube like this. This is one cube. After drawing the cube, we can consider suppose each edge is a centimeter. Now it is given the total surface area of the cube is 1014 centimeter square. Total surface area of a cube formula is 6 a square is 1014 this is given in the question so a square will be 1014 divided by 6 so a square equals to 1014 divided by 6 it will give 169 therefore a equals to root over 169 which will give 13 centimeter therefore edge of the cube is 13 centimeter now as given in the question we have to find the lateral surface area and the main diagonal we know lateral surface area of a cube is 4 a square. A already we got 13. So it will be 4 into 13 square. 13 square is 169. So 4 into 169 will give 676 centimeter square. Again we have to calculate the mean diagonal of the cube. We know the formula. It is root over 3a. Root over 3a we got 13. So if you consider root 3 as 1.732 into 13 it will give 22.516 centimeter if you consider root 3 to be 1.73 then it will be 1.73 into 13 which will give 22.49 in question number 5 it is given find the ratio of the total surface area and lateral surface area of a cube suppose each edge of the cube be a centimeter or a unit suppose this is the cube and we can consider this one to be a now we have to find the ratio of the total surface area and the lateral surface area. We know total surface area of a cube is 6 a square and lateral surface area of a cube is 4 a square. So if we divide total surface area of a cube by lateral surface area, it will be 6 a square by 4 a square. This a square can be cancelled. So we are left with 6 by 4. If I cancel by 2, it will be 3 by 2. Therefore, required ratio is 3 is to 2. In question number 6, it is given that the dimensions of a room are 5 meter into 4 meter into 3 meter. Find the cost of whitewashing the walls of the room and ceiling at the rate of rupees 11.5 per meter square. Here, suppose this is the room, length is given 5 meter, breadth is given 4 meter and height is 3 meter. Now, we want to whitewash this room. 4 walls and the ceiling that means floor part is not required so this is the floor this floor is not required this floor is not required now area of the 4 walls it is twice h l plus b and area of the ceiling it will be length into breadth so length into breadth so this part represents area of the 4 walls and this part represents area of the ceiling now twice height is given in the question 3 L plus B 5 plus 4 plus L into B 5 into 4. Now 3 2 just 6 5 plus 4 9 plus 4 5 just 20. 6 9 just 54 plus 20 which will give 74 meter square. Therefore area of the 4 walls and the ceiling is 74 meter square. Now it is given for whitewashing rupees 11.5 is required for 1 meter square area and we have to calculate for 74 meter square. Now as given cost of whitewashing 1 meter square is rupees 11.5 therefore cost of whitewashing 74 meter square since it will be more so we have to multiply if I multiply it will be 851 therefore required cost is rupees 851. Now question number 7 is find the length of the longest rod that can be placed in a room 12 meter long 9 meter broad and 8 meter high. Now if you consider this is the room then this is 12 meter this is 9 meter and height is 8 meter and we have to find the length of the longest rod so starting from this corner up to this corner 
this is the length of the longest road here length is 12 meter breadth is 9 meter height is 8 meter and length of the longest road formula is root over l square plus b square plus a square so 12 square plus 9 square plus 8 square 144 plus 81 plus 64 if I add, it will be 289 and root over 289 is 17. Therefore, required length is 17 meters. Question number 8 is, can you construct a cube whose length of the mean diagonal is 13 root 3 and diagonal of the face is 12 root 2? Suppose this is the cube and length of each edge be a centimeter. Now, length of the mean diagonal, we know formula is root 3a and in the question it is given 13 root 3. Therefore, root 3a equals to 13 root 3, therefore a equal to 13. So, if we consider length of the mean diagonal to be 13 root 3, then each edge becomes 13. Again, it is given diagonal of the face. If you consider any face, it will be 12 root 2. That means in this face or in this face, if I consider one diagonal, now if you consider this diagonal, then its length will be 12 root 2. Now, we know diagonal of the face is root over 2, I say, and it is given 12 root 2, that means a equals to 12. So, in the same figure, in the first case, we got length of the edge to be 13 centimeter, and in the second case, we got length of edge is 12 centimeter. So, these are contradictory. Now, since in two cases, we got two different values of a, which is not possible, because for the same cube, in both the cases, value of a should be same. So, it is not possible to construct a cube with the given dimensions. Now, in question number 9, it is given, 3 equal cubes are placed adjacently in a row. Find the ratio of the total surface area of the new cuboid to that of the sum of the surface areas of the 3 cube. As given in the question, there are 3 cubes. Suppose, edge of each cube is A. These 3 cubes we place side by side. If we keep them side by side, adjacently then total length will be a plus a plus a which will give total length is 3a this part is a and this part also will be a after placing them side by side we got one cuboid and in case of resulting cuboid length is thrice a breadth is a height is a we know total surface area of a cuboid formula is twice lb plus bh plus hl twice l we know thrice a breadth is a b into h, so a into a, plus h into l, a into thrice a, so twice 3 a square, plus a square, plus 3 a square, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 1, 7, so 2 into 7 a square, which will give 14 a square, therefore total surface area of the cuboid is 14 a square. Now if you consider one cube, here edge is a, so here total surface area will be 6 a square, since there are 3 cubes, so we can write sum of surface areas of 3 cubes. For each cube, it is 6 a square. Since this type of 3 cubes are there, it will be 3 into 6 a square, which will give 18 a square. So in the first case, we got total surface area of the cuboid to be 14 a square. And in the second case, we got 18 a square. Therefore, ratio of the total surface area of new cuboid by sum of the surface areas of 3 cubes, it will be 14 a square by 18 a square. If we cancel a square, then we are left with 14 by 18. This a square can be cancelled. 14 by 18. And if I cancel by 2, it will be 7 by 9. Therefore, required ratio is 7 is to 9. In question number 10, it is given, each edge of a cube is increased by 50%. Find the percentage increase in the surface area of the cube. Suppose this is the original cube, and here each edge is x. So in that case, total surface area of the first cube is 6x square. Now it is given each edge is increased by 50%. Initially it is x, it will be x plus 50% of x. Now in second case, each edge is x plus 50% of x. So x plus 50 by 100 x. If I cancel 50 and 100, it will be 2. So we got x plus x by 2, 2 LCM. It will be twice x plus x, which will give 3x by 2 that means here each edge is 3x by 2 so in the first case we got each edge to be x in the second case it is 3x by 2 therefore total surface area it will be 6 into a square here edge is 3x by 2 so it will be 6 into 3x by 2 whole square 6 
9 3 3 is a 9 x square 2 2 is a 4 now if I cancel 6 and 4 by 2 it will be 2 it will be 3 3 9 is a 27 x square by 2 now this is the new surface area and previous area was 6 x square so we have to find the increase in surface area so increase in surface area it will be new area minus previous area so in the first case area was 6 x square in the second case it is 27 by 2 x square by subtracting 6 x square from 27 by 2 x square we will get increase in surface area therefore increase in surface area it will be new area minus previous area new area is 27 x square by 2 minus 6 x square LCM will be 2 because here it is 6 x square by 1 LCM of 2 and 1 is 2 2 divided by 2 1 1 into 27 it will be 27 x square minus 2 divided by 1 2 6 to the 12 x square if I subtract it will be 15 x square by 2 so increase in surface area is 15 x square by 2 but in the question it is given find the percentage increase so it will be increase in surface area by original surface area into 100 percent here we got increase in surface area is 15 x square by 2 divided by original surface area it was 6 x square into 100 percent so it will be 15 x square 2 into 6 x square this 2 will come in the denominator so 15 x square by 2 into 6 x square into 100 percent x square x square can be cancelled so it will be 15 6 to the 12 into 100 percent now 3 4 the 12 3 5 the 15 4 into 25 is 100 so it will be 25 now 5 into 25 125 percent therefore percentage increase in surface area will be 125 percent and that's the answer and this is the last sum from 13a in the next video i'm going to start sums of 13b till then bye bye take care and wait for the next part